welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another news or discussion. Today, we're going to be talking about three things that I think can keep Steel Division alive. First is going to be maps. We're going to talk about map variety, map uh, editor. Uh, second, then we're going to talk about updating past divisions that we already have. And then the third thing, transparency. Um, but before we get into that, guys, you know, a lot of you are not subscribed. Only a small percentage of you are, so subscribe. Anyway, let's let's get into it. First thing first, guys, map editor. Map editor has been confirmed in Wardo. And this is a huge thing. Oh, wow, we just went off. It's a huge thing, guys, just because um, it gets stale if you have only a couple maps. And Steel Division, for example, especially for 10v10s and team games, which is the most popular game mode, you're only getting four to six maps, okay? That's, um, it's great. It's good. It's fun. They're really good maps in general. But uh, not enough variety to keep the game going for years to come. Um, but Wardo, luckily, has been confirmed. You know, we're going to get some more maps, and we're going to get that fat map editor. And, addition, like, furthermore, like, in in Steel Division, Steel Division has been confirmed, if we look up here, that it's going to be continued to be supported. They talked about how they've supported the game for past two years, and they have plans to keep on supporting the game long after uh, the new game of Warno's release, and they continue to give updates about Steel Division. So the best thing that they could do for Steel Division, and I really believe this, and I'd really be curious what you guys think, too, is to give more maps. If we have more maps... Um, or uh, an editor to make more maps that can be rotated into the pool. Uh, this would be an excellent, excellent, excellent addition. Um, so right now, for 4v4s and 10v10 guys, they have about 4 to 5 maps. 1v1s have a really good variety of maps. You can see that. Like You can click on all these different maps. It's not the best UI, obviously. But you have a couple 3v3 maps. Not too many, though, but just a few. Um, but, you know, there's an easy solution, too. Like I think Eugen is overlooking. For example... Uh, like, we have Shredder right now. Shredder can be divided into a 1v1 map, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4. But there is no, like, and it goes from left to right, um, which makes no sense to me. Where you could do right to left, where this section of the map right here could be cut in half, and this could be a 2v2 map. And that I don't feel like that increased the game file size that much more. Um, I think that's a concern of theirs. But also, you just double your maps by uh, just changing the angles of uh, pushing. Like, this could be made into a 2v2 map, or a 1v1 map, or... You know, like maybe it can't be made to a 4v4, but that's fine. You can give us two more maps for two different game modes. And I think they, they only do that on a couple, like Lenina, Shredrin, uh, Celesk East. Those are like the couple few maps. Like this map for here is locked to only 2v2. Well, it really could be made into a 1v1 map, and it could be made into two 1v1 maps if it's split up properly. And I, I don't understand why they uh, don't do that. It would just add more variety, keep the game a little more interesting and fresh. Um, and then with a map editor where players who are really dedicated to the game can develop new maps without even Eugen uh, doing it themselves, other people will make it for them. And then you never know, Eugen can take some of these maps and implement into the into the game, giving the game, uh, making it feel fresh, like keeping uh, the game interesting, uh, really... Uh, I think it just keep the game interesting and really more, really fun because I think the most the thing that's really good is the gameplay. The gameplay is amazing. I just think that they give us some more maps so that we don't get a uh, it doesn't get stale. That's what all I have to say. The next big thing I want to talk about is um, is continuously updating uh, past divisions that we already have. There's a lot of divisions in this game, guys. There's 80 something I think divisions, and there's going to be more, and there's going to be future DLCs as the game is going to continue to support it. So in this game, like. I think there's a lot of divisions that are underperforming in comparison to other divisions. It always eggs and flows as we see that if you play this game a lot. And I think there is an opportunity here to go back and consistently kind of fix up and implement things that are needed to be fixed. For example, 358 is a prime example of a division that probably needs to be a little bit more reworked. It's it's underplayed, it underperforms, and it's... It's a division of the game that they could kind of use and add and fix a little bit. And if you continuously fix on top of these divisions, for example, maybe 358 can get a little bit more AA, or maybe you can get another card of, you know, medium tanks, kind of playing around with it, not making it broken or OP, but just trying to kind of figure that sweet spot, trying to make the division a little more perform at a, at a better rate of other divisions. So the game has even more divisions that are able to be played and competitive and for fun with your friends. I think that would be really good for the game just to consistently add new content for current things we already have on top of the dlc that's coming out like when a new dlc comes out <coughs> they should release some patches or further patches about uh divisions that we've already have just kind of rework and trying to make them more balanced i think that'd be really good right now though there isn't really much talk or transparency and that goes into the next discussion about what i want to talk about next thing, transparency i think this uh big problem with eugen 
is their lack of communication about a lot of things that they promise are coming down the road. For example, a map editor for Steel Division or about the DLCs coming out. A lot of times we'll hear from them talk about this new DLC, like the Tribute to Italy. We heard about it like like half a year ago or, or more, I think, about it. And it's just kind of the radio silence about the whole topic. And then all of a sudden they come out with a whole bunch of information regarding it. But again, they don't give us any real timeline of what's happening until like... They, I mean, they just recently in the last patch pretty much told us when we're going to get the new re uh, release. And I understand, right? It's um, They are working on stuff, a lot of different content, and it's it may be really hard to put down a timetable. But I really think they should at least give a ballpark estimation about when things are coming down the road because it really helps to garner um, trust in your community and also like um, just to get people pumped up for the new content coming out. And uh, when instead you kind of just give dev blogs that kind of allude to content, allude to map editor, allude to more maps coming down the road, but no actual concrete timeline or deadline. They talked about Tannenberg cutting the map up in different ways to give us more map variety, but no timeline on, on that or <laughs> no evidence for months on end about uh, what's going on with that or other other aspects of the game too. Also very, there's a lot of hidden stat changes that re regularly come out with patches that aren't listed. For example, tank being tanks being changed, their speeds, um, and like another thing as well. It's just, it's just they need to be very transparent. I think uh, it's very frustrating. I think it's a, for the community to always being told like little, like a little crumb of what what's to come. Never being really told clearly what's happening. And at least people getting disinterested or untrustworthy of Eugen and they kind of move on. And I, I think that's a weakness. If they can if they consistently be transparent with the community about new content coming down the road, where they're at, where they're developing, I think it'd be it'd be helpful. I don't think it would uh, hurt the company. And I think it would keep people gone or, uh, interested in Steel Division. So hopefully they do some of these things. I hope we get the map editor. I hope we get some more transparency. I hope we get some more uh, continuation of... Uh, editing decks and um, making sure they're better and can be in their use and not not to forget about them I really do hope we get all this stuff and I think if they do it <laughs> with I think if they do it I think still division can stick around for many years to come and and continue to grow and um, I'm really hoping it does I hope uh, they'll be both a community for Warno uh, modern combat and also for World War two because I love both the eras and I think it'd be really fun to have two games that are doing a lot of the, the things we want. Also, a little nitpick too, I really hope that any of the new quality of life things that they implement in Warno, I hope they can try to implement them in Steel Division. I think it'd be really good to have like both games have a lot of the quality of life things. You can jump between the both and kind of have fun. And um, I don't know, that's what you got. Let me, uh, tell me what you guys think. I'd be really curious to see what you guys think about this. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.